This is Francesco Yates, and I wish I could get right to him playing live for you. You're going to hear his songs in just moments because your voice, you're 19 years old, but yet you sound like you're 4,000. There is so much richness in your voice. How you, is this so? Where does it come from? Um, I'm honored that you think that it does come from a special place. Um, I, 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 I just, I, I don't think it's something that I can explain, you know? I mean... The songs, as far as I'm concerned, uh, I almost, in, even in the creation of them, I have nothing to do with them. It's like it's all—it's almost as though they're created in space. You know, you just have to be there uh, when the moment comes. You know, I couldn't—I couldn't really sit down and uh, think to write a song or think to get inspiration. You just have to simply be there when when it comes to you. Is there a specific time that the inspiration does come first thing in the morning when you're taking a shower? Like, is there a moment where you're going, "Yeah, I'm in it. I'm in the zone." It can come at any time, um, but mostly it comes at night. Um, that's when uh, it seems as though the inhibitions uh, are, are no longer there, and uh, it's just a whole other character. Um, Is it like a split personality character where you got the one side you? Because, you know, one of the nicest things I've heard about you, it came from Pharrell, and he says you're one of the most humble people, like the most talented person, but also humble. Uh, is there two very different sides of you? Is there the showman Francesco Yates, and then this the really nice Canadian kid, Francesco Yates. It's interesting that you should touch on that. Um, I find myself, um, there are two different people when I'm doing it. Um, you know, sometimes I'll look back at the footage and, and go, oh, wow, did I really do that? Um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's cool because you, you get to enact and tap into a whole other part of your personality. Which is your favorite part? Do you like the, when you're on stage doing what you do best? Or do you like when you're walking around just kind of hanging out with your buddies? I mean, you know, what it, you know what's good is that um, I have uh, some good friends that have stayed with me from my childhood. And uh, I think I'm already crazy as it is. So they deter me away from going too far off the deep end. Um, and for that I'm thankful for them you know it's good you maintain you have to maintain relationships with those people and it's great you surround yourself by some crazy but they also bring you back to norm which is awesome mm. those are your old friends as far as they can exactly they'll try as hard as they <laughs> possibly can your new friends though guys like Justin Timberlake thinks you're the next best <laughs> okay. thing Timbaland says you're the man you know Pharrell Williams says you're the next superstar Billboard magazine just going on and on a Canadian prodigy how does it feel hearing these kind of accolades from these people that are way up here in the business I'm very, you know, I'm very honored that they uh, that they've taken an interest in me um, and that they 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 like what I do. You know, that's all that's all I can say. I mean, I'm very, I'm just, I'm happy to be there and and learning from them. You know. So, do you try to write hits when you're in that zone? Are you saying, okay, JT's listening to this, he's going to watch this on YouTube. I got to put a little more in. Do you, do you try a little bit like that? Or are you just this is who I am? I'm comfortable with who I am, and hopefully, people like it. Um. Well, like I said earlier, I mean, you can you can kind of you can try to write a hit, and you can have all the formulas to do so, but uh, ultimately, sometimes you just the moment is right, and uh, most musicians, you know, know when the moment is right. You just have to you just have to enjoy it. Usually, it comes when I'm not thinking too much, um, and you know, I'm not thinking too much at night. I'm just I've, I've let go of uh, everything. So how do you get into that zone? Do you play video games? What do you do to unwind, to relax, right before you get hit by all the ideas? How do you just chill out? Um, well, whenever I have time, uh, and so usually in the summertime, I play basketball to uh, just release from it. Um, and a lot of times it comes from stuff I read. I read a lot of books, um, and that's usually where it comes from. What kind of stuff do you read? What are you really into? If you say Archie, you're my hero for life. <laughs> I remember that. I remember. I remember it. Uh, Archie is a cartoon, um, but uh, it's a it's a lot of um, music books and history books I read. You know. Do you apply that to your music somehow? Do you find ways to channel that into what you're putting out today? Well, you just read a lot of great stories in in music books, like the making of Purple Rain and stuff like that. You get inspired on how they did it. It's amazing how each song seems to have a story behind it. Yeah, I was going to touch on that, that not only are you an amazing guitar player, which we'll talk about, you've been playing since you've been 11, but um, you're a great storyteller. Is the song all about the story for you? Is that the key part of it? Well, it has to be uh, come from an authentic place. Um, at least in my mind, you have to, you, you have to um, make sure that whatever you're saying um, 
although it may sound very fanciful and, and, and like, like a fantasy, sometimes lyrics, they don't sound so, so real. Um, like an example, you catch a grenade for you. Um, you Bruno know, Mars. I mean, hopefully, I would imagine that Bruno wouldn't want to catch a grenade. <laughs> I mean, I, I need him around. I need to, I need that uptown funk to keep coming. Um, but you have to believe in that character, whatever it is. Where are your inspirations? Are they the Bruno Mars? Are they the Mark Ronsons? What What do you really vibe on right now? What do you look for? The Pharrells? Where are you at? Well, Pharrell's a big one uh, as far as like the people who are currently doing it. You know, people who these people are really shaping, uh, reshaping music. Uh, and and bringing it back to uh, uh, almost a it seems a seemingly more organic place. Um, I love the stuff that that Bruno and Mark Ronson are doing. I love the stuff Sam Smith is doing. It's becoming more lush. The music I like it. Organic is the way I think the best word to describe you playing the guitar. You are in, and I hate doing the comparison thing, but you're like Eric Clapton with the slow hand. You're oh, you yeah. just yeah. play. You don't even see the fingers moving, and yet you treat this. Like it is your baby. I mean, is your guitar your everything? Um, yes, and even most most notably my electric guitar. Um, it's tough to say because I play piano, but um, there's there's something special about uh, the electric guitar. It has special magical qualities. You know, people people it speaks to the soul sometimes. Did you name your favorite guitar? Does it have a name? I haven't yet. All right. Well, <laughs> there's a new project for you, something in your spare time to start working towards. Uh, let's talk about when you are there performing. I love watching you because a lot of artists, their eyes close and they go off into their own little area and they think about any anything from the grocery list to what they have to do at home renovations. Mm -hmm. What are you thinking about? Because you, sometimes your eyes are closed and you're so there and you can actually feel you being in the moment and then half the song, your eyes are open. What, what's going through your mind as you sing these powerful songs? Um, nothing. Nothing's going through my mind. If something were going through my mind, it would be, uh, it would be no good. I remember Michael Jackson saying, "Thinking is the biggest mistake an artist can do. You have to feel." Um, so I'm just trying my best in those moments, I guess, to, uh, you know, not to be, you know, be a little bit honest with myself. Um, know what you're doing. You know what I mean? Is it hard being honest in those songs that you play over and over and over? Or is there a way that you can tap right in? You're the Francesco Yates performer. Here it comes from the heart. Well, if you like it, um, it's, it's not, it doesn't become a tedious thing. Um, you know, that, that was very important for me that I had to like the music I was doing. So it doesn't really matter how many times I'm doing it, just so long as uh, I'm, uh, I'm enjoying doing it. Let's talk about your style. Let's start with your hair. This is going to be a trademark. This is going to be huge. People will be wearing the wig during Halloween. You know that this is happening, right? Where does the hair come from? Um, your guess is as good as mine. Um, I never used to have much hair. Um, I, I remember grade three, it was really, really short. And then I guess fourth grade came around and uh, everything started to change, I guess. It just it stayed there. Is the style important at all, the image of Francesco Yates, or is it all about the music for you? Um. Well, like anything, it's an art form. Um, it's I'm I'm very into uh, you know built you, you can you can that's the great thing about being in this uh, line of work that I'm in. You get to create uh, someone that uh, doesn't exist in real life, like David Bowie with Ziggy Stardust. You can create characters. It's pretend, but as just so long as um, you know you stay grounded and make sure that that person uh, doesn't come with you off the stage kind of like in in acting where you take on a role certain of course role, and then you get off stage you can be f it's fine yeah yeah and you're having the most fun you've ever had you're 19 is this like you winning the super bowl this is yes all the time every day it's pr it's pretty unreal i'm not gonna lie i i i, I I'm, I'm loving everything that i do right now well yeah. congratulations on the success thank you so much for your time thank you man and, thank uh, you for having me you're just going to be going like this this is going to be a great decade francesco yates uh, let's listen to him play live now 